Within the last 24 hours, more than 600 people tested positive for coronavirus in Maryland. 23 more have died. The statewide positivity rate is also inching closer to 4%. Hello again, I'm Denise Koch. Local health departments continue to find new ways to reach people who are getting vaccinated at lower rates. Governor Larry Hogan will tour the new Maryland Vaccine Equity Task Force vaccination clinic this afternoon. It is located in Upper Marlboro in Prince George's County. President Biden is headed to Philadelphia suburbs today to tout the benefits of the American Rescue Plan. Skylar Henry reports for WJZ from the White House. President Biden is hitting the road to tout his American Rescue Plan and the benefits small businesses can receive, especially those that missed out during the last round of relief. Mainstream businesses from hardware stores to beauty salons that needed the help most were left behind. 400,000 are now gone. We will not let that happen this time. This is all part of a six-state swing for the president, vice president, and their spouses to sell the plan to the American public. It's not selling it. It's literally letting people know their rights, right? It's, it's kind of like you, um, you buy a product, you've already been sold on the product, but you need some directions on the box usually, <laughs> right? The Republican National Committee is launching a counter-messaging campaign today, spreading the message that the money in the bill isn't targeted to fight the pandemic. Reports from California suggest some local governments may consider using some of the massive bailouts that Democrats sent them on bonuses. The Biden administration is also pressing states to make vaccinations available for all adults by May 1st. Today, Mississippi becomes the second state to expand their vaccine eligibility to those ages 16 and older. Great for the Mississippi so we can get back to some kind of normalcy. Uh, we all need it. Dr. Anthony Fauci says so far there have been a few allergic reactions to the vaccine. Only about four cases out of every one million shots. It does not appear to be anything that is what we call a red flag. Several European countries have suspended use of the AstraZeneca vaccine over concerns about blood clots. The British drug maker says a review of 17 million people in the UK and Europe who have received the vaccine found less than 40 developed blood clots, which they say is lower than what you'd expect to find in the general population. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. New at noon, the first children have gotten Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine as part of that company's pediatric clinical trial. About 6,700 children in the U.S. and Canada between the ages of 6 months and 11 years old are participating. Now, they are getting two doses of the vaccine spaced about 28 days apart. As the trial continues, some children will be getting a placebo.